Here's your weather on the threes. Hi, Daniel. Good morning, Tracy. Good morning, Acadiana. Of course, the big discussion is everything that's going on in the Gulf of Mexico. And for a pretty good reason, it's going to produce a lot of rainfall somewhere along the central coast of Texas. I would imagine even getting out into western parts of Louisiana as well. Seeing some flare ups close to the center today. This is a broad area of, of circulation that we're seeing on the models. Going to have the hurricane hunters are going to get going here probably about 15 minutes or so. I think it's when their flight is scheduled to take off. And they're going to investigate this and the, the data that they send back is going to be crucial to, to everything that we need to try and get a really good forecast together. I do think that it develops into a tropical storm here probably by today would be my guess is that by, by the end of the day today we're going to have uh, tropical storm Harvey once again it, and then it works its way out over towards Texas. But regardless of the name and do not get caught up in the naming of the storm or what it's going to be called. Is it Harvey? Is it something else? None of that really matters. What does matter is the impacts and we're going to feel some of those here in Lafayette and Acadiana as well. So this works its way out over to somewhere between Corpus Christi and Galveston is uh, where I believe it's going to head to. It's going to provide a lot of rainfall between Houston and Lake Charles. We're on the fringes of uh, a good amount of rain. I think all of Acadiana, especially West Acadiana, is going to have to be on the lookout for flooding over the weekend and early parts of next week. That's going to be the biggest impacts that we feel. Let's run through the European model. I'll give you an idea of what we're talking about. This is just one model of several that we've been keeping our eye on, but this kind of has been doing it pretty consistently here the last couple of days. By Friday, it brings it down over uh, again in between Corpus Christi and Galveston, but it stalls there for several days, and this is going to dump a ton of rain out over towards Houston. Some of the early numbers are uh, quite alarming. Uh, at least some of the model runs that we've seen today. Again, that's going to be East Texas but between Beaumont and Houston where you see a lot of it and that even stretches as about as far east as Lake Charles. Uh, by Monday, it starts to lift out. That's going to bring the heavy rainfall up along the Texas Louisiana border. We're going to continuously see those winds coming in from the south. That piles our tides up and so I would expect a little coastal flooding over the course of the weekend, probably getting into early parts of next week. These are some of the numbers say pretty consistent here over the last couple days. You're talking 15 to 20 inches out through Houston close to 30 in uh, in Galveston. Don't get caught up on the exact numbers. Uh, what we'll watch for is trends right now. Everything has stayed fairly consistent from run to run. I think here in Acadiana, we're anywhere from about five to 10 inches worth of rainfall starting Saturday, getting onwards into Tuesday. Could see some hot spots of seven, maybe even up to 15 closer to Lake Charles. Uh, again, storm surge wise, two to three feet above normal tides. Uh, tides will pile up, so maybe some flooding along Highway 82 down along the coast. And then uh, as far as wind damage or tornado threat goes, that still remains to be seen. I have to wait and see kind of what happens today before we can make any determinations of that. Tracy.